Well, as, as my father put, <laughs> that I heard, uh, I'm not quite as built as Deborah is, so... But, but just, I mean, your, your character is, is nothing They're to do smaller with smaller puppies, that's all. But thank you, you don't have to uh, elaborate. <laughs> They're cute. Thank you. But there's no question that she is out there selling sex. That's what works, and good for her. Like father, like son, is Shadow Mac just another chip off the old block? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And today we came across an old interview with Stephanie and Shane McMahon. I believe this is from either late... 1998 or early 1999. I'm willing to believe it's more early 1999. And Stephanie and Shane, they're both backstage doing an interview with someone I've seen doing wrestling interviews before. Now, his name doesn't really come off the top of my head, but I have seen this guy interview wrestlers before. I remember him interviewing McMahon before, and it got a little bit touchy here. This guy is a bit of a shooter, so I don't know if he had a talk show or whatever back in the 90s, but yeah, I've seen this guy interview wrestlers before. So he's basically talking about Stephanie McMahon's character and is she willing to do what Deborah does? And what does he mean by that? Well, he's on about Deborah and the puppies and the, the selling sex. And it was a bit of a weird interview. Stephanie McMahon kind of gave an answer. Shane McMahon jumped in to, I guess, defend his sister, but in the end, he he kind of jumped into some hot water. There's a lot of comments saying that they, they can't believe this and Shane McMahon is just like his father and that the you know the, the, the nut doesn't fall far through the tree and all that stuff and that the McMahon family is just sick and twisted and all that. So we're going to look at this and then we're going to decide whether or not you know Shane McMahon should be put on some sort of list or whether or not it was just an innocent comment that was taken out of hand. Was Shane McMahon just trying to defend his sister or was it a little bit creepy. What was Shane's eyes looking at when he made these puppy comments? Well, we'll play it through and we'll find it. We'll play it through, we'll find it, and we'll steam if he has to take a seat or not. But do you have in your mind something where, where you say, I'll only go too far, I'll only go this far? Well, in, in terms of what? Would you do what Deborah does? Which is? Puppies? Well, as, as my father put, <laughs> that I heard, uh, I'm not quite as built as Deborah is, so... But, but just, I mean, your, your character is, is nothing They're to do with that. smaller puppies, that's all. But thank you, you don't have to uh, elaborate. <laughs> They're cute. Thank you. But there's no question that she is out there selling sex. That's what works, and good for her. Um, well, I think that Deborah's character is cer certainly more sensual and sexy, and she's strong, and, and that's her character. My character at the moment is a little more conservative so i can only really speak to the character that i'm playing but um i was haven't it, reached any limits yet you're truly a mcmahon because i'm not sure there was an answer in there but we'll we'll replay the tapes well, and we'll try to find out what is that supposed to mean she's wide open she's wide open to do whatever you know as all of us are you know again it's entertainment and we're, we're gonna draw upon that all righty so there you go mcmahon shane mcmahon uh, like I said, I've seen all the comments and they're not good. Everyone is bashing Shane, saying that, you know, he's disgusting, incest, looking at his sister like this. And, well, well, let's look at it. So, I mean, first of all, the, the interviewer is bringing up the fact that Deborah, at this point, she's wearing, like, low-cut tops. And I don't think Deborah's necessarily the one that started all of this. I think Sable was probably the one that was selling sex, first of all. Before her, it was Sunny, although I do think Sunny just, in, at least in WWF, she was more of the kind of girl next door, kind of like summer vibes look. I don't remember Sunny doing anything that was like overly sexual she wasn't coming out in like the leather stuff looking like sable so i think sable's probably the one that that started this not necessarily deborah yeah i think it was definitely uh sable not sunny but obviously at this point sable's probably fired from the company so that's yeah because i think when when sunny kind of brought on they hadn't really went into the attitude area yet no so they didn't really do that sort of risky stuff stuff with sunny but when they got into the Attitude Era, they were kind of transitioning away from Sonny and Sable was like the new big thing. Therefore, she kind of got a lot more of the raunchier stuff than uh, Sonny ever did. So for me, it was more Sable that started going in this direction. But the, this guy's talking about Deborah. 
for whatever reason, talks about her puppies and it's definitely a man willing to go down that route because sex sells. And then she says, well, I've been, t I've, like I've heard my father say, I don't have to build for this. So apparently Stephanie has heard McMahon, Vince McMahon, her father, talk about her and her, um, let's say what, attributes and physicality, I guess, and chest area. I mean, could that be a throwaway comment? I mean, we don't really know. I, I don't think McMahon would mean anything bad by it, but I think he would just be pretty frank, like if someone wasn't really built in that department, for example, it's like, I don't think McMahon would view that any differently as he would talking about a wrestler who doesn't look strong enough or who doesn't weigh enough or who isn't tall enough. Yeah. That, that could have just been a throwaway comment from McMahon like that. Doesn't necessarily mean that McMahon was perving on his daughter. I don't think that's the case. No, I think it's like it's like Shane. It'd be like if Shane was like, oh, do I book Shane as the next Kane or Undertaker? But McMahon's like, no, they can't because he's, he's not seven foot. Yeah, it, it, like, like Stacey Keebler, like, she was never really pushed for her puppies because she was I guess inadequate in that kind of area compared to the likes of Trish and Tori and whatnot. so I, I think it's more like that but then Shane McMahon turns around and goes you know they're, they're just smaller puppies while looking at Stephanie Man's chest area obviously you can see here she's like dressed pretty conservative and she did say that she's more of a conservative person uh, yeah, so you can see she's like buttoned up here, not really showing them. Shane McMahon turned around and, and he looks in that area. He says that, yeah, they're just smaller puppies, but they're cute puppies. And I mean, I, I, I totally see how that could be taken out of context. I don't think he meant it that way, though. I think he was, you, you could say he was maybe just trying to save face here and maybe not try to hurt his sister's feelings and make her maybe try not to feel less of a person just because she isn't blessed in that area like Deborah is because I mean that's necessarily true just because just just because Deborah's are bigger doesn't mean they're better yeah. and I, I think that's the point maybe Shane McMahon was trying to make I think Shane McMahon in a weird way tried to defend his sister here he I think tried he tried to, to make her feel better he tried to make her feel better and then he doubled down with the the cute comment, and he probably went, fuck, that didn't work. Yeah, there was a bit of an awkward silence, and and then the guy, like, continues to talk about it. He's like, will you do it? And Stephanie McMahon doesn't really give him an answer. He then says, you know, that's a typical McMahon, you know, not giving me, like, a direct answer. And Shane McMahon's follow-up to this is, my sister is wide open. And it's like, there was another, like, awkward silence, and again... He quickly followed it up by saying we're all wide open and I think what he meant by that was that they're open to do anything they want, okay? That they've got like the ability, they've got the freedom to try different things, try directions. If they want to be a conservative character, if they want to, you know, maybe sell a little bit of sex. I think that's what Shane McMahon went, meant. They're like wide open to do whatever they want. But when he's talking about his sister's puppies and saying they're cute and then following up with the comments saying his sister's wide open within the, the space of like 30 seconds it does look a little bit strange you know it's, it's not a good look but I am going to defend Shane McMahon here I don't think he meant this I, I don't think he's that kind of guy uh, Stephanie was quick to say you know it's alright you don't need to elaborate I, I don't know if she felt uncomfortable or you know whether she knew that Shane was trying to just defend her but she didn't need him to either way a lot of people are bashing Shane McMahon here and saying that he's in the same boat as Vince. I mean, <laughs> I don't think Shane McMahon's shot on anybody's head for sure. Uh, to me, this is, it, it's kind of funny looking at it and it's a bit awkward, but I don't think Shane McMahon's done anything wrong here on part. Some things just don't age well and maybe at the time it didn't age well either, but looking back on it, I think it's a genuine mistake. It is a genuine mistake. We... How many Benoit promos, man, as he said something that's like, oh, that sticks out like a sore thumb now? It happens all the time. Hell, we even had a video where you uh, labelled Bray Wyatt. Is dead, dead, yeah. Instead of Brody, you, you said his name instead of Brody. And Lee. then, like, two months later, he died. Yeah, it, it, some stuff doesn't age well. I, I just think Shane McMahon here has tried to defend his... He's tried to make her feel better live on air. Could it just be that these two are green in front of the camera at this stage? Absolutely. I know, but like, I think if Shane McMahon was say, I don't think was, I don't think it's what Shane McMahon actually said. I just think it's the context and that the person they're saying it about is his sister. Yeah, 
the people are just saying it's fucking weird. If she let's say this isn't let's say this is I'm trying to think. Let's say Sonny, right? For example, or I'm trying or Ivory or whatever. Someone who didn't have puppies as big as Deborah. If they were sitting next to Shane McMahon, or like let's say like a Molly Holly or someone, and Shane McMahon said this about them, I don't think people would be really going, oh, well, that's out of order. That that's gross. Yeah, but what you've also got to bear in mind is. People have different relationships. Just because someone wouldn't say this with their sister doesn't mean Shane McMahon didn't. I mean, maybe it's a bit of banter between them. Who fucking knows? No, I get that, but I just think probably because... Maybe it works more when you're like 15. <laughs> maybe not when you're like 30, which Shane McMahon would have been at this age. Yeah, probably because Shane McMahon's more of a McMahon and, you know, people are just going to bash him because the McMahon family, easy to bash. And his, his dad's done, I guess, some questionable things and Shane McMahon, you know, might feel the heat. For those questionable things, and now he's going to be under a microscope, and anything he says. At, look at McMahon, no my times has grapefruits or genetic jackhammer. People just need to wind their necks in and fucking accept things. It's pathetic. Yo, is it a bit of a weird comment for Shane? Yes, but there's nothing else about it. There's there's nothing to look into. Yeah, it's so, twenty five year ago. Yeah, we're we're gonna let Shane off the hook here. Yeah, I mean, I, I think McMahon's pretty weird. Won't do half the storylines he wanted to do, but. I think Shane's a normal one. Well, Shane McMahon did want to do the uh, incest. incest, yeah, with the, the, the child being Shane's and then his own. So, I mean... <laughs> was there two kids or just... No, well, Shane didn't want to do it, then McMahon was going to do it, but I don't think Stephanie wanted to God do it with him. God so it's like, Shane, why did I want to do it? I mean, who knows, the McMahon like, family... Damn it, aren't they? Uh, pretty weird family, but uh, yeah, for me, it was just a, it, it, it's just a comment that hasn't exactly, you know... I'm not going to say aged well, because at the time, I mean, it was, probably didn't look good either, but yeah. it is what it is. I think Shane's innocent. I don't think there's anything to really look at here. Um, I, I think probably if he watched this interview back after two minutes, he'd go, oh, fuck, that sounded a bit weird. And he probably wished he could, like, delete it or reset it or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it, I guess. We'll catch you in the next one. Let us know your thoughts down below. But, yeah, I can't believe that I'm only seeing this for the first time. And yeah, people are pointing at the fact that he's got the eye contact as well. As soon as he says puppies, he's literally staring at her chest. But again, if he's talking about that, then doesn't that make sense? Like, to be staring in that direction? It's like, if you say to Triple H, you've got a massive fucking nose, you kind of would expect them to be looking at his nose, wouldn't you? It's like... Yeah, but it is his sister at the end of the day. But again, it's just what happens. Yeah, but it's not like she's fucking naked, you know what I mean? It's like... yeah. Uh, people are nah it's pathetic what's he supposed to do stare up at the ceiling and make but, the no, but that's another thing right maybe in private Mc Shane would be more awkward around this topic but here out in the open public eye on the camera maybe he has to be this sort of bubbly kind of guy we don't know I think it just could be more of a case of the interview it was an interview and he maybe thought that his sister was being targeted and maybe attacked for you know not being yeah, you clearly not see being it. as enhanced in that area. So he's tried to jump in to defend her, and he's kind of you know made an ass of it. I think. You see at the end, he clearly says, "Look, she's wide open to do anything." All right, as all of us are, it's entertainment. Dodgy choice of words, but he got there in the end. He got there in the end, guys. Let us know what you think down below. Funny interview, though. I can't believe I'm only saying it for the first time. Anyway, till next time, peace. <laughs>